Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Taft City Council Successor Agency Joint Regularly Scheduled Meeting for January the 15th, 2019. As a courtesy to all, please turn your cell phones to vibrate or silence. It's a new year. We don't want to hear those rock bands playing when we're trying to do the people's business. I'll start out the year by reminding everybody that any writings or documents provided to a majority of the City Council regarding any item on this agenda are made available for public inspection in the lobby of Taft City Hall, 209 East Kern Street, Taft, California, during normal business hours. We're going to begin this evening's meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the invocation from Scott Pearson of the First Baptist Church. If you would join us all, please. If you'll join me as we salute the flag, salute and pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you so much uh, for the city of Taft that we live in. People are uh, friendly and generally respectful. Um, where common sense still rules, not political correctness. We thank you, God, for these people you've called to leadership here. And uh, we pray that uh, you'd give them wisdom and um, guide them as they make decisions that affect uh, our, our city. We thank you, God, for your presence always um, in, in this place and in our lives. And um, we're, we are uh, very thankful for your love, for your grace, for your forgiveness, for the hope that you offer. Uh, and we pray these things in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And technically, I'm not with First Baptist Church anymore. I'm retired. So this is the way. Oh, you're retired. Happy <laughs> retirement. <laughs> well, congratulations on that milestone. That's all right. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, Scott. Okay, Madam Clerk, may we have a roll call, please? Yes. Mayor Knorr. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Cryer. Here. Council Member Bryant. Here. Council Member Eveland. Here. And Council Member Wyvie. Here. Okay, we're going to make an adjustment on this evening's schedule. We're going to have to adjourn immediately to closed session. We have uh, somebody on the phone who's going to be talking to us concerning closed session item A. Is that correct? Yes. Closed session item A, conference with legal counsel anticipate litigation, government code sections 54956.9B. So at this time, we will adjourn the closed session. All right, I want to welcome everybody back. We're back from closed session. We're going to uh, reopen the regularly scheduled meeting for the Taft City Council successor agency. City Attorney has a report to make. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The report out of closed session is that the City Council discussed in closed session the matter agendized as a conference with legal counsel anticipated litigation, and direction was given to staff. The City Council adjourned from closed session at 6.44 p.m. Thank you very much, sir. All right, moving on with our regular agenda. Item number one. Public hearing on costs and placement of liens on abated properties, <coughs> citizen request, oops, forget Sorry. that part. Public hearing on costs and placement of liens on abated properties, City Manager General. Thank you, Mayor. The properties listed below had a nuisance abated. The owners of record have been notified by certified <coughs> mail and posting on said property in accordance with Taft, City of Taft Municipal Code on the costs incurred during the abatement process. The owners were also notified of the time and place of this public hearing on costs whereby council will hear any objections or protests from the property owners. The properties that were abated were 322 Center Street with an abatement cost of $1,125.67 and 609 Woodrow Street with an abatement cost of $4,303.72. Thank you very much, Mr. Andrew Jones. At this time, the recommend, recommended action is to conduct a hearing regarding the statement of expense. So at this time, I will open the public hearing Anybody wishing to speak in support or opposition of either one of these two items, please step forward. Seeing and hearing none, I'm going to close the public hearing. At this time, I'd entertain a motion to adopt resolutions entitled Resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft approving and confirming the costs for the abatement of the nuisance at 322 Center Street, Taft, California, 
APN number 031-030-22-4 in the amount of $1,125.67 and a resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft approving and confirming the cost for the abatement of the nuisance at 609 Woodrow Street, Taft, California. APN number 031-350-08-5 in the amount of $4,303.72. Motion. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Councilman Bryant, you were the one with the motion. Any discussion, sir? I just have two questions for clarification. Uh, on the first item listed on Center Street, was that the Crocker Bank or the lot, or are those a combined uh, lot? I think, yes, it was the old Crocker Bank and, and the combined parking lot. It's what type property. of mitigation do we do? Um, clean up, uh, vegetation, I believe, uh, boarding, reboarding of the property because there were people accessing the property. Okay, and then on the second piece, was there a structure there, and is that why it's so high that we demoed the structure? Mm, I don't know. Let's see. It's the house next to the auto sports store, isn't it? No. Not on like Woodrow. Uh, CarQuest? I, right? I can't. It's right next to CarQuest. Should be. So it may be that empty lot, right? Isn't there an empty lot right there? Uh, there's not some of the other stuff up on Santa There's a brick wall there, and I think there's a house there, but they've had a lot of problems. I don't believe it. that it was a full demo. I believe it was probably a complete it, uh, board and clean. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just just seen, board, yeah, that's what yeah, I thought. I think it was just a large scale cleanup. And okay. Board. Yeah, I think that's Cost wise, right. I mean, it's three times, four times as much as the other one, so I was just curious what the. Well, the, our, boarding, our boarding standards is not just plywood, it requires uh, framing, uh, anchor bolts, and stuff like that, so it can get pretty expensive to see depending on the size of the property. Okay. We're seeing more and more need for this. What with the cold weather, obviously there are those people out there that are looking for a warmer place to spend the night. And so they get really busy regarding breaking into these uh, unused buildings and whatnot. And so those costs go up. Absolutely. Thank you. The other thing we're trying to do is avoid the fires, fires. that come with that. And the public safety hazard proposed by people having to go in and put those fires out. Absolutely. That's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. Uh, I believe, uh, Councilman Whiting, you made the second on that. Did you have any further discussion regarding that? No, sir. All right. Councilman Evelyn? No. Nope. Mayor Pro Tem? No comment. All right. I have no comment. So I have a motion and a second. May we have a roll call, please? Mayor Pro Tem Cryer? Yes. Council Member Evelyn? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Whiting? Yes. And Mayor Norr? Yes. I've passed on a 5-0 vote. Thank you all very much. Next up is a unnumbered item, citizens request public comments. This is the time and place for the general public to address the city council on matters within its jurisdiction. State law prohibits the council from addressing any issue not previously included on the agenda. Council may receive comment and set the matter for subsequent meeting. Please limit comments to five minutes. This evening we have one individual wishing to address the council. That would be Dr. Kathy Oren of the chamber. Dr. Kathy Warren is not going to be able to be here because she has a conflict. So she asked that I read these things and, uh, to, the, to the council. So here we go. Announcements for the chamber of the council meeting tonight. Let's see. Number one, welcome and congratulations to all new council members from the Taft Chamber. We look forward to continued support from the council. I know that she worked very hard during the candidates forum and... Uh, uh, appreciates all the input from all of those and especially those of you who ended up being successful congratulations and thank you for your service we appreciated the council's generosity with regard to the tot tax we want you to know that it is noted by our board that we are fortunate to have this kind of support from our city council quarterly uh, we give them half of the tot tax and it's been getting better and better we invite all members of the city council and city staff to our installation and awards event of gold and glam, a toast to tap, to be held at the Transit Center Old Dorado Room on Thursday, January the 31st. The social hour begins at 6 p.m. and the dinner is served at 7 p.m. Catering will be provided by Diamond X Barbecue. A no-host bar will be offered by the Petroleum Club. Attendees will be treated to the acoustic sounds of Ryan Coulter and Taylor Unruh. Call the chamber for ticket information. And then uh, item four, a huge thank you to the council for considering waiving the rental fee for the evening due to this installation awards celebration being an all community event. So that's the messages from our good friend, Dr. Kathy Horn. 
right, and that is all of the public comments for this evening. Next up, I have number two, council statements, non-action. I'm going to begin with Councilman <clears throat> Whiting this evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no statement. All right. Councilman Evelyn. No statements, Mr. Mayor. Right. Councilman Bryant. You know what? I'll stick with that trend. No statement today. All right. Mayor Pro Tem. <laughs> I'm going to break the trend a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I was going to announce that um, on 124... Uh, uh, we can now uh, we're going to have the port uh, preventive uh, preservation annual membership drive and dinner. Uh, they will have uh, food, uh, drawings, uh, introduction of our new uh, board, and uh, I'd like to invite the public to be there and support the port. It's the only way that we can make money to keep the port open. I was paid. Uh, we have some electrical issues that need to be taken care of and. Uh, the upkeep on that fort is getting is getting tough uh, to keep ahead each year. So we want to keep the fort uh, open and uh, and growing. We need uh, the community support to be there and support support. And um, that's all I have there. What time is that, Rachel? It starts at uh, 5 p.m. for the uh, no host bar and for meet and greet type deal, and six o'clock for the dinner. All right. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I have no additional comments this evening. So, moving forward, item number three, department reports. Do we have any department reports? Seeing none, item number four, city manager statement. City manager Jones. Just wish everyone a good new year. All right, here we go. This is the start of it. Here we go. All right, that's it. Thank End you. That. City attorney statements. Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No statement. All right. Future agenda requests at this point in time, anybody? Yeah. All right, not just yet. Okay then. Consent calendar items seven through 14. All items listed on the consent calendar shall be considered routine and will be enacted by one roll call vote. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the members of city council requests specific items be removed from the consent calendar for separate action. Any item removed from the consent calendar will be considered after the regular business items. Are there any items on the consent calendar that any member of the public would like to comment on? <clears throat> Please, not all at once, one at a time. Put your hands down. All right, never mind. Let the record show none. All right, those items are <clears throat> item number seven, the minutes for December 18, 2018 meeting. Item number eight, payment of bills, uh, about $600,000 worth. Item number nine, accept the completed work by SenCal Construction for the Main Street, Fifth Street, and Rails to Trails Connection Project, TDA Article 3. Recommendation there is a motion to accept the completed work by SenCal Construction for the Main Street, Fifth Street, and Rails to Trails Connection Project, TDA Article 3, and authorize the city clerk to file a notice of completion with Kern County Recorder. Staff further recommends the release of the 5% retention to the contractor after 30 days pending claims or liens filed during this period. Item number 10, Taft Chamber of Commerce Fee Waiver Request for the Old Dorado Room <coughs> Installation and Community Awards. Recommendation there is a motion to approve the waiver of fees for use of the Old Dorado Room on January the 31st, 2019 Taft Chamber of Commerce Annual Installation Community Awards Celebration. Item number 11 is the recognized obligation payment schedule, ROPS 1920 for July 2019 through June 2020. The recommendation is a motion to adopt a resolution entitled, a resolution of the successor agency to the Taft Community Development Agency of the City of Taft, approving and adopting a recognized obligation payment schedule for the period July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020, pursuant to the provision set forth in Health and Safety Code Section 3418G AB1X26. Secondly, to direct staff to present the ROPS 1920 to the Countywide Oversight Board for approval. Item number 12, increase to state minimum wage. Recommendation there is a motion to adopt a resolution entitled a resolution of the City Council of the City of Taft approving automatic increase to the hourly wage of city positions so that the hourly wage does not fall below the state minimum wage. 
Item number 13 is award contract for construction management materials testing for the Kern Street HSIP 5193-040 pedestrian improvement project. Recommendation is award contract to BHT Engineering Incorporated in the amount of $42,777.80 for construction management and materials testing for Kern Street HSIP 5193-040 pedestrian improvement project. And then finally, item number 14, funding to the Taft Chamber of Commerce for quarter of July 2018 to September 2018. Recommendation is a motion to approve the 25% allocation of the trans transient occupation tax to the Taft Chamber of Commerce for the quarter of July 2018 through September 2018. I'll make the motion. And a second. I have a motion and a second. Do I have a roll call, please? <clears throat> That's all right. I didn't ask if anybody wishes to remove any of those items from the agenda. I apologize. For a separate discussion. I do not. No? All right, then. But we'll we'll move forward. That's all right. We'll move forward with the motion <laughs> and the second. Mayor Pro Tim Cryer? Yes. Council Member Bryant? Yes. Council Member Evelyn? Yes. Council Member Whitey? Yes. And Mayor Knorr? Yes. Thank you very much. That passed on a 5 0 vote. <clears throat> all right. At this time, we will adjourn to closed session for one item conference with legal counsel existing litigation government code section 54956.9a taft union high school versus city of taft okay. and mr mayor and i'm sorry that's all right no rest and, of and you're right because item a conference with legal counsel anticipated litigation government code section 54956.9b two potential cases thank you all for being here